Hello and welcome to the Tuesday Checklist, the show that actually comes out on a Wednesday. That's embarrassing, isn't it? But not nearly as embarrassing as the cringe-inducing gaming moments we've been reliving this week for your viewing pleasure. Before we begin, please let us know your own harrowing tales in the comments and click the notification bell if you haven't already done so to keep up to date with all our videos. First up in the hot seat of humiliation, it's Ash. So a really embarrassing gaming moment for me comes back, harking back to the days of Guitar Hero 2. Now, I love Guitar Hero and I loved Guitar Hero very, very much when I was younger and I loved playing it. I loved going through all the different songs, as you do. I'm just describing playing Guitar Hero, but uh, like having like competitions with your friends to see who can do the best song, who can do it the best, uh, going up to experts and playing through the fire and the flames and seeing how long you could handle it. Um, like I just loved Guitar Hero. I thought it was great. And Guitar Hero 2 was especially great going through the career list and getting to the end and seeing how like good you could be at guitar. And I always played a medium because I, that's it. It's not easy. It's better than easy, but it's... You get the blue button involved. Yeah, maybe sometimes I go into hard, but like I always played on medium. Um, and uh, I was very proud of my Guitar Hero playing. Like Guitar Hero 2 especially, I was very proud of, of how I could work a guitar. Um, because <laughs> I thought in my head I was like fully a rock star. Like I was mm. fully like Ash Millman, rock star. Um, We're gonna take this up to media difficulty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Raise the guitar! <laughs> But yeah, we went up to hard, remember? We went up to hard to try it out. So it was going through again. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I fully thought I was like, I was a cool dude uh, playing Guitar Hero and that I was great at it. And every time we had like competitions with my friends, I was always the winner because I, I'm not competitive in any way, but uh, at Guitar Hero, I was a winner. So there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously I was very competitive and practiced all the time and must beat my friends. Um, so it got to the point where you get to the end and the last encore song of Guitar Hero 2 is uh, Leonard Skinner's Free Bird. It's like a nine minute song and it starts really slow so you can do all of the buttons and uh, do them really like, you know, slow and do your hammer-ons and your pull-offs. Guitar words that I learned from being a rock star. Um, <laughs> so you could do all of that and uh, it goes in, it goes quite like crazy in the middle, like it goes all frantic and you have to keep up with it and get all of the different bars together. Uh, and I, I could do this on medium <laughs> this, this is embarrassing. I could do this on medium with the guitar behind my head because yes, that was something I used to do when I was a, a <laughs> dorky little kid alone in my loft with the uh, with the Guitar Hero on and we'd see what cool way we could do it. I was too old for this. Um, and it got to, my parents also loved playing this with me and competing with me, with me on it because they liked guitar and rock and all that sort of thing. So um, it got to one point where they had their friends over and uh, Tales of Ash's Guitar Hero prowess came out because it was all I ever did, so that's all I have to talk about to their friends Ash, about. Ash can play Freebird on medium. Medium? Yeah. Yeah. On medium. No! Yeah. But I'd gone through my campaign on hard this time. Remember, ah, seeded. So, seeded. I'd got through my campaign already. <laughs> this is so. It's embarrassing! Uh, it actually is embarrassing because. I was upstairs playing Guitar Hero, like a performance for, the, for like my mom and dad's friends that they'd brought up to be like, oh, here's our daughter who plays Guitar Hero. <laughs> not, like, not like someone who can play an instrument, um, but someone who can play Guitar Hero. My buttocks Hero. are already clenching in embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> like I could feel it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I was ready with my guitar, with my... Um, Rock move sensibility. <laughs> <laughs> rock, move. rock. And um, you know when you get things wrong on Guitar Hero, and it starts going, <laughs> uh, and the crowd stop booing you. So that's also an important part of this story, <laughs> because uh, they came up for my uh, ashes, um, you know, orchestral rock performance. Show. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to perform. Oh, my face hurts. Ready to perform um, Leonard Skinner's Freebird, you know, requested, requested by my parents. And uh, put it up, loaded up on hard, because, you know, we're going to take it up a notch. We've gone through medium. Let's turn this, this mother up to 11, babies. Um, that's the PG version. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, started playing through it and I did the slow bit really well because obviously it's like you hammer on, you pull off, so you can do that at the beginning. Really nice, just long. You can use the whammy bar. I was exampling how the whammy bar works. I <laughs> on my guitar for these friends. And um, it got to the middle bit and I was feeling very confident and 
and very over cocky and you know just me just me as a person gloating reveling in my winnings and uh you know went to do the whole guitar behind the head movement oh, no. and was fully like trying to do it and uh just i it, it was hard it wasn't medium it was hard it was difficult and every single note i was playing was coming out wrong and i could feel like the wave of shame washing over me and my parents friends obviously weren't impressed because they were my parents friends i was their child that they'd gone look it's ash playing guitar <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, they were like What's that um, clinking sound I can hear? Like the because I was missing all buttons. So I was like nothing, and put the guitar back around, and then totally lost my cool like with it, like trying to get all of the back into my rhythm, back into my flow of being a rock star. I remember shrinking from being this standing person with a guitar behind my head like a freak, <laughs> and then sat sunk down into the sofa <laughs> with this guitar, like trying to play it very small, and missing every note, and being like. Do you do that? I'd be like, this doesn't normally happen. This doesn't normally happen. But yeah, I think back on it because I remember feeling so embarrassed in that moment of not performing Lynn and Skinner's Freebird correctly. But actually, in actuality, just the whole scenario itself is so cringy and embarrassing that it even happened at all. Like, God bless my parents being like, my daughter can play guitar, hero. Like, and I'm <laughs> presenting it as like, here, here you go. But oh, just, just. Ugh, ugh. It's so it's so cringy, it's so awful. But it is quite funny now at least to think about it as me being an awful only child. Like you can tell I'm an only child from this nonsense. Do your like. parents still speak to those people? Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> and they never get round again. Yeah, no, they haven't seen me since, so it's all good in my book. But yeah, that that was definitely the most embarrassing uh, the most embarrassing one. I'm going to start off my entry by telling you that uh, as I've been growing up, I have been seen as being um, quite unaware <laughs> of things. <laughs> like, you know, as if someone makes an, an innuendo joke, for example, it goes <laughs> completely over my head. I don't know what anything means. And then, of course, if I was there just being like, what, what's that mean? What are you talking about? Then my friends would be like, <laughs> Don't tell her, like, you know, I, I was always the one who never understood what anything really was and what anything meant. Um, and uh, apparently that can still apply because my embarrassing moment happened on the channel. It happened uh, around, I think it was last November, and it was when Yakuza Like a Dragon came out, yeah. which was a very, very exciting I time. I remember it well. I was ridiculously excited. I love this game. It's become one of my favorites, of, like, if not the favorite game of mine of all time, and I was so excited. I had a whole stream planned. I was like, I'm going to show them this. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this. I've played the game for around like 10 or 20 hours at that point, so I was like, you know, I wasn't at the beginning phases. Like, you know, my characters had some armor equipped, and some weapons equipped. And uh, <laughs> just a little knowing look. Weapons. Weapons. Some some weapons. weapons. And uh, Yakuza has, um, like, you know, it's got some really silly moments and things like that, and some really, like, um, like innuendous kind of jokes and stuff just like, like innuendous that. Innuendous as a word. <laughs> so. I was like, you know, I didn't want to show that my characters had like, you know, the beginning weapons because this was my genuine save file and I went into a shop. That would have been embarrassing, dragon. wouldn't it? Yeah. If you'd have shown <laughs> starting weapons. How embarrassing. Yeah. Easy mode. But I, so I went into a shop and I bought some weapons because in RPG land, they were the strongest weapons that were available to me at the time. Like, I saw them and I was like, my God, the stats on these are brilliant. Like, <laughs> my characters can do, oh, so much stronger. I was like, yes. Stats on this. <laughs> And I felt really happy that I was like, right, this is my genuine save. I'm showing my characters who's leveled up. We're going to go and get some hooligans and it'll be, it'll be epic. It'll be an epic stream. And um, the, everyone in the chat just started saying, uh, Rosie, why why has your character got a magic wand? Why? And I was like, what do you mean magic wand? Namba, Namba, who's the mage of the team, I was like, he's got an umbrella. That's not a magic wand, it's an umbrella. What are you talking about? And everyone was just like, oh my God, what is Rosie holding and stuff like that? And I didn't understand. I was like, well, it's, a, it's a back massager and an umbrella. And, <laughs> and, and I was like, you know, saying like all these characters had weapons and um, so yeah, I was just streaming away, having a fantastic time. Everyone was talking about this supposed magic wand, which I didn't know anything about. There's no wizards in this game. <laughs> I was like, only members of the wizard, he's got an umbrella. And um, then like, we had a great time. It's one of my favorite streams because we just had such a, like the amount of things that we did in the game, all the, the sheep dream sequences. It was just such a fun time and I loved the game and I just loved talking about it. And then uh, wrapping up the stream and at the end of it, I just remember looking at the, the work chat and just seeing in all caps just from, 
uh, it was either Dave, Nath or Rob, but it was just like, Rosie, what were you holding in the, what was your weapon? And I thought, what do you mean it was, it was a back massager? What's wrong with my back massage? Why is everyone commenting on this mad, like magic wand back massager nonsense? And then that was when, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was, I just remember the, just being a moment of like, you know, we're working from home at this point. I can just imagine everyone being in disbelief in their homes, me being clueless. And I can't remember who told me what, it really was. <laughs> and you mean I was, it wasn't a back massager? I mean, I still hold, I, I swear it was called a back massager. So I'm still like, it was a back massager. At least the weapon I'm thinking of anyway. And, um, and <laughs> yeah, and then just, just d d when I realized it, just thinking, oh my goodness gracious, I just streamed on the channel with this weapon. I mean, to be fair, to my, like, you know, strongest weapon, you know, you got to have the strongest weapon that you can have in an RPG. <laughs> Uh, why would you downgrade just because something's a back massage? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you're right, Rosie, you're right. Yeah, the stats were great. So um, that's probably just the moment where I was there <laughs> playing Yakuza Like a Dragon with a back massager the whole time, being completely unaware of what people were talking about, what people were referencing, why people were giggling in the chat. I was just having a great time. And um, <laughs> I'm sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> with the umbrella. <laughs> and it's just probably one of the most embarrassing things. I feel like I've gone pink in the cheeks just talking about it. It's probably one of the most embarrassing moments I've had on the channel. Um, and I've embarrassed myself talking about that embarrassing moment I've done. But yeah, because I like a dragon. It's a fantastic game. Please everyone play it because it's honestly phenomenal. I love it. And it's a genuine good weapon. Like, don't be embarrassed. If you're at home, <laughs> it's a good weapon for your character. So, <laughs> so uh, the back massage. The back massage. Officially endorsed <laughs> by Rosie for use <laughs> for your party. Yes. Jack is a like a dragon. Oh, Have yes. you got goons that need beating? Try the back. Try the back massage. <laughs> so. My embarrassing moment happened live on stage at EGX. Oh, is it what I think it's gonna be? I don't know, what, no. do, you th what do you think it's gonna be? I know, it's okay, carry on. Uh, you might, this is a new story, maybe. Um, <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> and, well, you might think it, you know, might be XCOM Rosie where I had to come out wearing literally just hot pants. <laughs> Yeah. No. Would you be that? embarrassed by that? Though? Exactly. No, I'm not it. embarrassed by that. I love, I love the attention. <laughs> I love the attention. What I don't like is the kind of attention that happened in this story, which is when I was playing Crash Team Racing. Oh no. The original PS1 game. Oh. This was before Nitro Fuel had even been announced. Um, and I had foolishly bigged up my Crash Team Racing credentials on the channel. I was like, no one can beat me in Crash Team Racing! Ha ha ha! In the knowledge that no one would ever find out because, you know, you can't play multiplayer on an old PS1 game. Um, they then obviously made Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. And, <laughs> and that was an embarrassment enough and going on a live stream with that and getting absolutely destroyed. But... Um, before that happened, we played Crash Team Racing on stage at EGX, the PS1 version. And the thing was, come up on stage and challenge Rob to a game of Crash Team Racing. And if you win, you get a prize. And so the first couple of people came up. <laughs> How many prizes did you have? A couple. <laughs> um, so I hadn't got a chance to like practice anywhere near as much as I'd wanted to. I was very rusty and that was embarrassing enough because I, I was like, you know, I'm amazing at Crush Team Racing. And then someone came up who was probably a similar sort of level to me and we were playing Hot Air Skyway, which is... Do you want Hot Air Skyway? It's actually one of my favourite tracks, but when you're a bit rusty and you're still trying to get into the groove of the controls, it can be a devilishly difficult track. Mm. Um, and I could tell that this person I was racing was a little bit higher in terms of ability than the two people I'd raced before. I was like, okay, I can't just, you know, I can't take this easy. I'm actually gonna have to use 
my skills on this race. <laughs> Look so back like, on okay, my training. I can't remember. I'm going to have to use the blue flame, the ultimate sacred fire, it's called, when remember you chain your boosts up high enough that you can hold the amazing, super fast blue flame. And you've got to continually boost while you have the blue flame, flame to keep your boost reserves going so that you keep the high speed going throughout the track. A servant um, of the secret fire, you might call it. Yes, <laughs> I am a wielder of the secret fire, <laughs> wielder of the flame of Arnor. Um, but imagine Gandalf on the bridge saying his secret, sacred fire line and just falling off the bridge of Hazad Doom. That's essentially what happened to me on Hot Air Skyway. I had my sacred fire, I was like, yes, let's go! And I tried to hold it and the track is very swirly and there are no barriers on the side and you just fall off. And I fell off maybe three or four times. Ooh, um, that's embarrassing. And I could feel not, they weren't laughing at me, but I could feel the, the disappointment oh, in the crowd. Oh, no, that's um, There was a congregation of maybe like 20 people who'd come along to see me playing Crash Team Racing. Like, oh, Rob said he's pretty good at Crash Team Racing. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> um, and it was all like, yeah, 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 to start with. When I started falling off Hot Air Skyway, I could just feel the, the energy just got sucked out. And it was like, ugh, I hated it. And I feed off people telling me nice things that's <laughs> that's how i you know that's how i subsist now i spend my weekends looking through youtube comment sections for comments telling me that i'm really funny and clever and oh you're set you're so setting this up for the comments I, on this <laughs> and that's how i you know that's how i like oh. you know if i don't get that that's that's my fuel don't give I in to him guys. can everyone I now tweet it. rob like i want your twitter <laughs> like, feed filled with hearts um, <laughs> and 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 I could feel that energy draining away. Like it felt like my, my batteries were being drained. And it wasn't so much an embarrassment as like a, I could just felt overwhelmingly just, oh, just dead on the stage. Like you know, I was supposed to be on, I was supposed to be raw. Yeah, crashy <laughs> racing, yeah, on the stage. Be raw. And I was just like, oh, 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 oh. I just wanted everything to just swallow me up. And there was this really pathetic, I'd managed to get in the lead and it was really, because he'd been falling off as well. Um, coming up to the end of the race, I was in front, he hit me with a rocket. Um, it spun me round and I sort of pathetically tried to reverse to get back to face the same way. And whilst reversing, I just pathetically reversed off the edge of the track, plummeted to my doom and he just pooled around the last corner, won. And uh, Nathan was on stage as well. Nathan was like, Oh, it's amazing, someone's beaten Rob, but it wasn't like a, an exciting win. It was like, well, of course you've beaten him. <laughs> he sucks at the game, <laughs> quite evidently. Um, it was crushing, and I've never forgot it. And now the channel won't either, now the channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was very, very embarrassed. Very embarrassed that day. And that embarrassment continued with Crash Team Racing, um, because as soon as something comes out and and there's multiplayer, like, you, you know, I can't compete with the kind of level that you're seeing now. I mean, I'm not even the best Crash Team Racing player in the office anymore. That's me. It's, it's Ash. Not, it's not you. It's me. It's Rosie. Yay! Oh, thanks, Rob! <sighs> you just, passed the blue flame. You could, just, you could have given me something, a little lie. A little lie to keep me going from eighth place <laughs> when we did it. <laughs> you're better than Nathan Dave. Oh, there we go then, thanks. But yeah, just, I'll never live that moment down. And uh, I wished, I wished the stage would have just crumbled, been enveloped in darkness. <laughs> 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 That's what I wanted to happen. Yeah. The secret flame betrayed you and channeled light upon you instead. No darkness, only light. <laughs> Okay, so an embarrassing uh, game. I'm already laughing because I'm thinking about it. An embarrassing gaming story from well, Rob. How are you holding that microphone? I've just seen <laughs> you sat like this. Nearly pinching just... it. <laughs> Let me take a picture of you. <laughs> Look, I'm old now. Comfort over style. Do let us know your own embarrassing gaming tales in the comments. Give this video a like if it made you cringe. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already done so to ensure you never miss anything from the world of PlayStation. Thanks for watching. PlayStation.